In this video, we're going to go over addition using the Egyptian numerals. Whenever you're adding numbers using the Egyptian numerals, as in with most number systems, it's a good idea to start with the lowest place value first. So let's look how many ones I have. On this side, I have 4. On this side, I have 3, 5, 7. Well, 4 plus 7 is 11, but I don't want to draw more than 10 of them. So we'll cancel out 10 of them. So cancel out those 7, 8, 9, 10, and we'll make one of these symbols for 10. And it leaves me with one left. So in our final answer, I'll have one of those. And now we'll cancel out, so we know we don't have to deal with that anymore. Now let's look at the next place value. We have this symbol to represent 10, this heel bone. And we have three, five of them on this side. Six, seven, eight plus the other one that we just made here. So a total of nine of those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll cancel all those out so we know we don't have to deal with them. All right, let's look at the next place value. Next place value is this rope, which represents 100. Let's see how many we have. We have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 of those ropes will equal one flower for the next place column. 10 ropes is worth a flower. So we'll cancel out all the ropes and draw an extra flower. Then we'll count how many flowers we have. We have a total of 3, 4, 5, 6. Total of 6 flowers. So 1, 2, 3. Four, five, and six. And then we'll cross out all those flowers so we know we're not looking at them anymore. And then that, all that's left is the tadpoles. Well, we have a total of three tadpoles on this side and two on this side for a total of five tadpoles. And since there's less than ten of them, we don't have to do any kind of converting and we don't have to draw the man that represents a million. So three or five, total of five, cancel those out. If you notice, everything is now canceled out, and this is our final answer.